Hi, and welcome to another episode of Buck Up. And I have to say, I'm a little um, anxious to see. I had a friend adjust uh, my volume. I it was on ambient, ambient tone. That might be why I sounded like I was whispering. I am a little sick. Um, but I'm gonna vlog anyway. I'm I'm not gonna let it stop me because you know these things build up in my head and then I'm like they're spinning. I have to get them out. I have to get them out so I can move on. And so we have been hit with quite a doozy in this household this week, and um, we have been. Uh, I think it's like a flu, and um, I figured this is a good time to speak up. Um, on what I consider to be uh, a better, um, well, you know how people say vaporizer, humidifier, vaporizer, humidifier. I'm gonna weigh in on that one, vaporizer. <clears throat> I tried a humidifier, I went to Target, I got the little cute little uh, frog, you know they have like the frog and the penguin. I've been looking at them for like seven years, wanting to get them because they're so cute and kind of convincing myself humidifiers were definitely better because these were so cute and the humidifier, I mean the vaporizer is not so cute at all. It's actually kind of unattractive. So I fooled myself into thinking that this was, this was the thing to get and I got it because my son gets these bloody noses and I got it and it was cute. It was very cute and he loved it and he actually thought it was his toy and I had to let him play with it for a little while until I could, you know, I, I didn't want him to start using it while it was plugged in, if you know what I'm saying. So I basically had it on one night and basically it makes the air colder. It's like I'm sleeping outside. I don't want to be outside. I want to be inside. I want to be warm. I don't want to be outside where it's damp. And that's what the humidifier does. It makes it cold and wet. I'm not interested. Thanks. And then when I went to fill it, it was like the second time and I just tapped into something, it broke and it was like water everywhere. And that was not fun to clean up. I was not happy. So I brought it back to Target. I said, hey, this is not fulfilling my desires, my needs, my wants. I can say that. I can, I can go in and I can say, sorry, it's not meeting my standards. They need to listen if I have a receipt. And so they did. And I went and I got my, my vaporizer and unfortunately I was so sick it was hard for me to get you know motivated to set it up. And my husband doesn't really put a lot of stock in vaporizers. My mother, all you do is sniffle. She, if you got your vaporizer, set your vaporizer up. Did you set your vaporizer? You gotta get your vaporizer going. In my family, vaporizers are very serious. So I have the vaporizer going. My son is in my room with the vaporizer going. Now this is the kicker with the vaporizer. You can put a little reservoir, there's like a little reservoir where the steam comes out and you can put like this liquid in. So it's kind of like, right now it's like a lavender sauna up there. And he's not gonna tolerate me being, that, being down here very long. He's already made it clear that he wants me up there now. Those were actually, I quote his words. So, but I did wanna make sure I did this. I said to myself, you know what, let me vlog, let me go get my makeup out of the car, let me defrost it by the fire, get a little coffee, have a sip. Remember, get dressed like you're going somewhere and then stay home. It's a huge trick. I feel, I feel like I'm going somewhere, but I'm not. I also wanted to tell you, I switched my necklace. This was a big thing. When you don't have a lot going on outside that can distract you, you need to make little little events bigger than they really are. So I switched to my heart necklace, which I had been wearing my fish for a very long time. Today I switched and I also switched my earrings from my hoops to these. It's kind of an event because I have to lock up my jewelry because I live with three little pirates. They're, they are pirates. They just need a patch and a sword. They take everything. I can't, nothing can be hidden. I find like candy, stashed in corners they're in on it together it's them against me and i'm outnumbered and i'm frankly they're winning most of the time um when your kids are sick um this is this is my words of advice these are my words of advice i don't care how sick you are if they're like disabled with a fever get moving get off of that couch 
I don't care if you have to hobble around. I don't care if you have to carry the toilet paper with you because you're sneezing. I sneezed like 9,000 times yesterday. Get the toilet paper. This is the time to declutter. Get that laundry put away. Are you kidding? These kids are like catatonic with fever. You can even hold off on the meds for a little while because first of all, you want them resting. If they have fevers, it's because they're sick. So don't feel bad about that. And also, when are they ever willing to sit still like that? Never, never. So this is an opportunity. It's a golden opportunity. I took it yesterday. I got a lot done, even though I was sneezing all day long. I got a lot done. I took advantage. I took a bad situation. I turned it around and I made it work for me. Okay. Um, we have a house guest coming today. A house guest with a drinking problem. I'm considering doing an intervention, but there's only one problem. He doesn't really care. I mean, he's a dog and it is a drinking problem because we put out water and he he gets it everywhere. It's like it's like the ocean. It's like he starts drinking and and waves. It's like a boat in the water and the waves and it's cresting over the side of the bowl. It's disastrous. My dog doesn't do that. And I don't know why this dog has to do it. Um, but as far as an intervention, I see he wants me to come. As far as an intervention, I just think you have to care a little bit. I'm coming. I just think in order for an intervention to work, both parties have to have something invested. And I don't think he cares that he has a drinking problem. So I'm just gonna go with that and I'll let you know how that goes. But his name is Kirby. He's black and my dog loves him. And if I tell him that Kirby's coming, he gets wildly excited. You know, he's sleeping right now, but sometimes it's a little like a senior citizen home because they're both, you know, middle-aged. But then they'll get going and they really, they're like puppies. And this is, you know, this cul-de-sac is like the fire island for dogs. It's like all male dogs, all gay. I think they're all gay because when female dogs come around, they are not interested they just they're very male oriented so that works out that that really it's like a little resort for gay dogs over here uh with that said i'm going to say adios because i need to go care to my little care see to my little son i'm not thinking clearly but i wanted to check in and see how my ambient less tone is going i want to check that out and i will talk to you very soon stay positive bye, -bye.